It's a fact, more cars are written off here in the UK winter time than any other time of the year. Which makes life not so good for insurance policies, but great for people like us who love a bargain. And that's because they end up here at Copart, where any one of us could bid on potentially our dream car and get it for the fraction of the list price. Last time I went, I may or may not have purchased a little something. Now there's one car that's just turned up at Copart and I've been wanting it for, I can't even remember how long. So that's where we're going today. The thing is the car I'm going to look at is so badly damaged, it might not even be good for parks. I know what you're thinking, I've got loads of projects and I need to finish them off before I buy any new cars. The thing is, these cars are auctioned, they don't wait for me to finish projects. They just turn up and I've got to take that opportunity. So. Who can blame me? Normally with Copart, you can't actually go and see the car before you buy it, but you can arrange for a video call with one of the staff there. But luckily for us today, we've got unlimited access to Copart Newbury. So some people decide to fix the car in the car park, which you probably definitely shouldn't do and then just drive it home. <laughs> Off we enter to some people's dreams and to other people's nightmares. It's a date. We were shown round by the manager at Newbury and the first place he showed us was the motorbike storage. All of these bikes have either been stolen, crashed or have some sort of damage on them and they'll all be put through auction. When a car is crashed, it gets categorized. And in the UK, there's a few categories. What you're seeing right now is the category A cars and they're no good to anyone, not even the chassis, so the whole thing would just be crushed. You then have category B cars. These are the cars that can't be put back on the road but can be broken for parts. And that leaves you with cat S, which means structural damage but it can be put back on the road and cat N, which is non-structural damage which also can be put back on the road. Just by having a quick walk round, we've already seen some amazing cars, including the Aston Martin, the Mercedes Maybach, and then we came across this. The next car is one car that I've wanted to rebuild in such a long time, and we didn't even expect it to be. I don't think it's even up for auction yet, um, and it's really changing my mind on things. And I know Hannah's gonna love this as well. Look at the Rolls Royce. <laughs> A 2020 Rolls Royce Ghost. But how on earth did it end up in this state? Hannah's already at it. Oh, she's got the umbrella. Is it, has it got the logos on yeah. the end? Yeah. Mm, that's amazing. Look, that's, that's worth, worth it. That is worth the car just for that. I mean, I don't know how many times that's ever been used, but I'm pretty sure when you put this in the door, it has, it, um, what do you call it? The air, yeah, it air dries the umbrella as well, so you don't get that mouldy smell when it comes out and everything, which is just insane on Rolls Royces. And to find a crash damage, I mean, this has been in a hell of a crash. Turns out, we think that this has had a crash with the, one of those width restriction things in London, where there's two bars each side, and they've tried to fit the car through it at probably some speed, and that's the outcome. Well, now we know how the accident was caused. I was getting really excited about this Rolls Royce and I wanted to find out how much a headlight would cost on this thing. Place your bets now. It's not even that bad. £999 for a headlight for a Rolls Royce Ghost. When you think Lamborghini wanted £10,000 for a Mercia Largo headlight, I thought a 1000 for a Rolls Royce one was pretty reasonable. But how was the inside looking? It actually smells brand new in here and we honestly was not expecting to see this and I don't think it's up for auction just yet but I would love to rebuild one of these and I'm sure, let us know in the comments because I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to see me try and rebuild one of these. The dashboard is gone. For a 2019 airbag kit, which looks, it looks exactly the same, £2,735. That's really not that bad at all. I would love a Rolls Royce. No. Oh yeah! And the TV, Rolls Royce cushion there, look. These are the keys. Spirit of ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, look at the look at the um the, the carpet. 
That's like, sh oh my god, that is so thick. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that? No, the floor. <laughs> oh, the, th the carpet. <laughs> I just felt the floor. <laughs> we do really, really like this car. Would you pay for it in this condition? Yeah, I mean. Because I think we're just. Uh, we love love the car so much. It's probably. <laughs> would you say it's worth a hundred? It's probably, I'd probably, say it's probably so, worth a yeah. hundred, isn't it? I think it's, I'd say a hundred. Oh, and that's the self-centering. <gasps> Yo, gang business! <laughs> Look at that! Hey, do you think we could just take this? Look, is there a fridge in there? But no, it's just. Yeah, so you can put your skis in. <laughs> Champagne glasses have got yeeted. There. <laughs> okay, oh there's God, champagne. Oh. oh my days. I did think there was oh, a look, there's full on. It's like a it's crystal really thing. Up. It's cold. It's still cold. Well, it's a fridge. What do you think? <laughs> Rolls Royce. Oh my God, Nick. No way. <laughs> you are. I'm such a. <laughs> yeah, wow. You can tell you live in Leicester. That looks very BMW to me. Like, it just feels like so tactile. I wonder what the mileage is. We might not be able to find the exact mileage, but we can get a good impression using car vertical. Now this is actually going to shock you because it shocked me and I've only just done the check on this car. So car vertical sponsored today's video. When you've got a registration or a VIN number of a car and it works in over 20 different countries, you can check it out using car vertical. And this is what you would expect. Well, to me, not expect. So after we put the registration into car vertical of the Rolls Royce, this is what comes up. And we've got a green tick to show that it's not had any mileage discrepancies. We've got a green tick to show it's not been recorded as stolen. An amber light though for an accident. And well, that's quite clear because we can see it's had an accident because well, we're there. But an amber light for outstanding finance. But this is usual in a car which goes to auction. Normally means they've not settled the insurance yet. Hence why this car has not gone to auction just yet, but that would normally be cleared by the time the car goes to auction. But one thing that I didn't expect is what we find further down this check. As we scroll through the check at the top, I can see every time it's had a registration plate change to a private reg and then back to the normal reg. I can see the mileage records, but then here's the surprising part. This car was written off as a category B Rolls Royce. That means this Rolls Royce can't even be put back on the road. So it can only be sold as a parts car and the chassis has to be squashed. Why on earth it's a Cat B, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe that's why it's not gone to auction just yet because perhaps it needs to be reassessed because I feel, to me, that's more of a category S car. And when you see the car we're about to see after the Rolls Royce, you'll be shocked at why that's a category S and not a category B, if that makes sense. Also on some car vertical checks, it'll actually show you the pictures of the car with the damage when it got auctioned off at the car crash auction website, like this C63 here. So to check your car, a friend's car, or a car that you're potentially about to buy, click the link in the description box below and use Car Vertical. And with my discount code, Matt, you're gonna save yourself a bit of discount on it as well, or just use the link in the description. So with us not realizing it's a category B, we continue to check the car. And there we have the Rolls Royce engine, which apparently, you can rest a 20p coin on whilst it's running. I'm probably not going to be able to test that now because I imagine the power fuse is gone. Maybe if we buy it. That looks it. BMW. That looks like a BMW oil cap. That looks like a BMW coolant cap. So how much of a Rolls Royce is shared with probably a BMW 7 Series, I'd imagine? You found a BMW. You found a BMW badge? There we go, confirmed. We've confirmed it. <laughs> Non-runner, so it won't start, but, but I imagine it. it won't start because yeah. the airbags are blown and normally it trips the pyro fuse. There's an oil cooler which has absolutely battered itself, um, but hopefully it would have turned off before it ran out of oil. A good Rolls Royce this spec should go for at least 300,000 pounds. And I still don't believe this should be a category B. But then there were some other cars which took our interest. 2018 Range Rover SVR. And it's like the blue that it comes in, but it's like a satin finish. So I almost want to say it's a PPF, but it it does actually look like that is the paint. There's a been trouble with this. Oh, really? So the guys are just saying that they've had huge VIN trouble with this car. 
so it's definitely a stolen recovered car which again Range Rovers are such a popular car to be stolen but this is really nice again you've got the usual suspect of a stolen car side panels ripped off get to the dashboard there's a shoe does this say anything about the people that steal these cars what are you saying Matt? the, the color matches did he come from birmingham yeah it definitely came from birmingham. <laughs> and there you go the vin sticker has been removed and the other Vin has been completely scratched off. Well done everyone who stole this car. They successfully made it a nightmare for anybody else to buy because they've scratched off the Vin and it's just getting the right Vin number after that, re-registering it. I don't even know the situation. I've never bought one of the cars which has had that. The thing is the car that we wanted to see was none of them and that was literally just a bonus. The Rolls Royce is sort of stealing it for me at the moment but the cars we wanted to see, or the car that we wanted to see, is inside this unit right here. I'd also like to say at this moment, a massive thanks to Copart for actually letting us come down to see the car, because now we've got a bit of a better insight into what actually is damaged on this thing, and it's not good. This is the car we came to see. The Ferrari 458. This. Mud in it. There's what? Oh yeah, someone's had a... Oh dear. The one thing that really intrigued me with this car, first of all, a lot of you guys were tagging me on Facebook when Copart posted this. But second of all, I do not know how this car is not a Cat B. This is a Cat S, which doesn't actually look that bad from this side, but we'll get onto that side in a minute. Also in that unit was a Tesla Model 3, but electric cars don't really tickle my fancy. And also an Alfa Romeo Giulia, I believe it is. This had some pretty bad rear quarter damage, but again, I was too distracted by that Ferrari 458. So Ferrari, I've not done a Ferrari on the channel. Well, I've never owned a Ferrari at all, which is why I'm, I'm so intrigued to buy one. And 458's an absolutely next level car. Yes, yeah, so we need a full dashboard kit, which actually, whilst we're here, take your guesses. £4,995 for a Ferrari 458 airbag kit. So that's a dashboard, steering wheel airbag. And that's it. Five grand. More than a Rolls Royce. Well, then it's just a no brainer. The good news is, this is the back wheel. Well, I don't know if that's good news or not. At least it's here. It's here, but you can see it's, if you come here, Matt. It's a bit oh square. no. No. I thought it was in one piece, but it's not. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no, the wheel, I'm not bothered about the wheel. The carbon ceramic disc. Carbon ceramic disc, it looks okay. And then look, there's a chunk out of it there. Oh my God. The good thing about this, it's going to put a lot of people off so which would obviously mean a lower price of the car but it's not so good on my bank account is it thousand pounds for a rear brake disc as brake discs go that is expensive but for a carbon ceramic it's not that bad at all suspension is well and truly just disappeared there's no floor <laughs> there's no floor oh dear the Where's that gone then? That headlight's gone. So just think of all these parts all adding up now and the insurance will just go around like headlight, brake disc, suspension parts, and it just slowly adds up. But We've got to play the headlight game and find out how much a 458. Oh, okay. <laughs> headlight game for the 458. How much are we guessing? I'm going to say, I'm going to say four and a half grand. As, that, as the Rolls Royce was eight, uh, a thousand, I'm going for 850. 850? Rolls Royce was a thousand pound. 458 headlight. You won't believe how much. £655 oh, second see? hand. I know what I'm doing. It's a bargain. <laughs> Matt was right. So That's literally the, cheap the left one doing. as well, £655 and 50p. It's not as bad as we actually thought. 
And it looks like I spoke too soon because when I started to look under the front side of the car, it looks like all the subframe had bent backwards. And not only that, it looks like the steering rack has snapped off as well. So already we're looking at subframes and steering racks. But the thing is, this 458 at auction right now is only on £20,000. So I'd be really interested to find out what the actual final bid on this would be. <laughs> so the rear quarter has fully gone but like most of these coupes the whole thing can be bolted off off the monocoque here and fixed to an extent and i have looked on ebay does this door still open to an extent oh. Oh. i think this is gone if we rebuild this this is going to be the biggest rebuild of door i say it every time but this will be the biggest rebuild that the we've hardest. ever done okay. and the hardest because this they're like riveted on here i don't think it, is it unless it's steel if it's steel then it's spot welded the rear quarter is looking in a bit of a state seems to have pulled all the inlet away from it but i still i don't know i can't see why the engine wouldn't run if it's all so that was all plugged in bad. this is so bad that's that's part of the rear quarter lot that that's the real light. Oh my God. That's the real light. Why is the ECU out of it? <laughs> <laughs> the bootleg. This is it. You need a full car to rebuild this car. If this goes for the right price, it actually could be a really good build, which would keep me busy for years. Subframe's gone. Oh, the back end has got everything is gone. Has it too far gone? What do you think? I think, no, I don't think you should ask my opinion because I've seen the rolls now. Yeah. I think if I hadn't seen the rolls, I probably would have gone for this, but. If it went for 30 grand, would you buy it? Yeah. Mad. She would buy a 458 for 30 grand, which is not a 458 anymore, but. Oh, well, I'm not fixing it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. How is the bumper in less of a bad state than any other part of the car? The cheapest Ferrari 458 on eBay at the moment is 105 thousand pounds so what would you pay for one in this state if you would pay anything at all potentially some new projects on the go for 2023 what would you go for let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you in the next video peace out oh yeah yes so we've seen the umbrella on the main, but there's two umbrellas, passenger and driver side. I didn't realise that. Well, why would there be one and not the other? That's just weird. I thought you'd share one. <laughs>